In this episode of VTEC and Turbos, we're going to be showing you how to deep clean your car seats. We're going to be using an upholstery cleaner that I bought from Super Cheap Auto for 250 bucks. So to use this machine, you need to make a little mixture in this compartment here. So what you got to do, you got to put up to here in water, and then the rest is this formula and this boost. And you make this mixture, and that is what cleans the seats. Now once you're using the machine, all the dirty water that's been used comes out at this side and as you'll see in the video it'll be all brown and yucky and then you realize how dirty your seats actually are so we've just topped this up with water to the line now we've got to fill it up with the formula and the boost Once you've filled it up, you're ready to go. Try not to spill it as much as we did, because then you've got nice soap all in your driveway. As you can see, there is three different tools to use. I prefer this one because it does the flat surface, the pointy surface, and the curved surface all in one tool, and it spins around to get your desired level. So that's good for this tool. This tool is just a flat tool, which is really good for covering ground. Floor mats and all that, this is perfect. This one is a, the tight tool, it gets in between the seats and in tight corners where these ones can't reach. Let's get into it. So we're going to start here with the passenger seat and we'll show you the process. As I said earlier, this is my preferred option. Um, I'm going to show you how to do it right now. So what you got to do, there's a red button here. You press that down and it shoots out soap on your seat. So when I turn the machine on, right here, you hear it turn on, press the button and it squirts. You want to cover your seat in the whole thing. So what you want to do, you want to cover your whole seat in the shampoo. Then, what you want to do, make sure that the machine's turned on and start vacuuming back and forth like this. Make sure you're pushing really hard so it sucks up all of the grime and grottiness out of your seats. be so surprised how much dirt and grime comes out of this like I was just going along the first time and it was just sucking up so much brown dirt I'll show you what it looks like right now as you can see you'd be surprised how much dirt is actually in your seats Righto, we're now going to move on to the driver's seat and we've set up some tape here so you can get a good before and after. While Will's in there doing the seats, I'm just going to let you know that it does take a couple of days to dry, especially in this weather here. So if you've got something planned the next day, make sure you plan ahead for the vacuuming of your seats, just in case they're wet when you want to drive them, because it's not a pleasant ride. That's disgusting. So we just finished the front seats. 
They look pretty good. We'll have to wait to see until they dry. Now we'll move on to the back. All right, we're heading into the back seats now. As you can see underneath, we've got it all set up. Let's have a look. So as you can see, there's a lot of the questionable stains on the back seat. Hopefully they come off because it looks a bit weird. But anyway, they should come up really nice. Uh, they should be pretty clean because no one really sits in the back seats of these cars because they're too cool, you know? <laughs> I've just finished this side of the seat. Ah, uh, there was lots of dirt coming out of this, so it should come up really good. This seat is just about to get done. I tried to get one of the stains off, and it's coming off pretty good, so I'll have to give that another couple goes, and um, they should look less weird after that. Here's the result. This is all the dirty, grimy water that came out of the seats. Just absolutely disgusting to think you're sitting on that every day. It's just filthy, so I highly recommend giving your seat a deep clean like that, so they don't end up you sitting on this, that's really, really gross. Right. All right, so to give your floor mats a deep clean, got to hit them with the gurney first, get them nice and wet. Then grab a sprinkle of this clothes detergent and then sprinkle it on. And then soak it again. So I'll get all nice and foamy. And then just have at it with the broom. said before I've run out of water so while Will's gurneying the carpet I'm gonna get some more water and get stuck into the back seats again so I just finished the back seats but I realized my time-lapse had fallen over so unfortunately there's no video of that but they are done they've got time to soak and hopefully they come out really good because there's a lot of dirt that came out of them just to show you how this works there's a little stain here and I'm gonna get that off so just give it a little rough up with your finger as you can see, it must have been some sort of lolly. Get it cranking. And now, it's gone. Right, so the car has a minor oil leak from what we think is just the tapper cover, but we're going to take off the exhaust manifold heat shield, give it a good thorough clean out, and then after driving it for a bit, see if it's the possibly the head gasket as well. So we've just gone down super cheap, got some heavy duty degreaser, some oil to top it off and some fuses for the mystery reason why the sunroof doesn't work. So we've just taken the exhaust manifold heat shield on, off, sorry, and now we're just going to spray it with some degreaser and clean it up. Alright, so we just put degreaser all over the engine. So as you can see, we're just going to let it soak for a while, then we'll hit it with the gurney, avoid all this electrical stuff up here, because if you get water on that, it's going to wreck it. So we're going to avoid here and get this all down there. That's going to need to be absolutely hammered to get all that oil off. And hopefully we can see what the culprit is of the problem. All right.
coming out really good. Yeah. 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 Second go at the degreaser. We're just putting the degreaser in now. Pretty hard to get in there because it's so tight. But all of it's coming off really nicely, so that's all good. Right. Second round again. I'm gonna gun it off now. I'll get in the gearbox. Quick little cold start. <laughs> Just gonna let it run for a bit to bake out all the water. After gurning all the engine, we left a tray underneath and look at the colour of that. That's all from the engine oil. Right, so the interior is all back together, seats are all clean, carpets are finally dried, and yeah, she's all good to go. They're really clean compared to what they were. They were really dirty and had lots of stains on them, but now they're back to factory fresh and they're really soft. So the carpets and the seats, they turned out awesome. They're so soft to the touch now. I'm so happy with how they turned out. I'm so glad I got all the stains off the back seats. They look awesome now. The factory fresh. I'm really happy about the result. Now we've attempted to clean up the engine. It's pretty good now. It's as good as we're going to get it. So hopefully later on we can find the culprit of that massive oil leak. Unfortunately the fuse we bought hasn't fixed the sunroof so we're going to have to dive into that in a later episode. Thank you for watching this episode of VTech and Turbos.